Hello, Disney Card Toys here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Snow White dress using five cans of Play-Doh, a Play-Doh roller, and a Play-Doh knife. First thing we're going to do is roll out some dark blue Play-Doh to make the top of her dress. Next, I'm going to cut out a little V-shape in the Play-Doh so that we can have a sweetheart neckline. We are now ready to put the top of the dress on Snow White. And the nice thing about Play-Doh is I can sculpt it to fit Snow White's body perfectly. You can see on the back of the dress I have a huge seam and it doesn't match up perfectly, but all you need to do is press it down and it will look great in the end. I've got a little bit of extra Play-Doh underneath her arms here, and so her arms don't move that well, so what I'm going to do is use this Play-Doh knife and cut off the extra Play-Doh so that I can move her arms up and down. Here we go, and it comes off very easily. Now that we're done with the blue Play-Doh, I'll roll out some yellow Play-Doh for her skirt. Once the Play-Doh is rolled out for your desired length, just cut an angled line at the top, and that will be the top of the skirt. You also would want to cut a straight line at the bottom of the skirt, and I made the skirt just above her knee to be a little more modern. Our next step will be to make the puffy sleeves for Snow White's dress. And this is actually easier than it looks. Just roll the Play-Doh in your fingers to make a cylinder shape. And we're just going to fold it across her shoulder, just like this. And now we have one puffy sleeve. I have the same size ball. I'm going to roll it out again in my fingers to make a cylinder shape. And then we'll start on one side of the shoulder and connect it to the back. Now that her puffy sleeves are added to her dress, I'm going to add the red decorative inlays. And I just made four tic-tac shapes for each sleeve. And I'm putting those on now. So one, two, three. And we'll do a fourth one on this sleeve and just kind of press it in there. See, it looks just like her dress. There's one on the other side. Two. Three. And four. Now Snow White's dress normally has this huge white collar, but I think that's a little dated. I'm going to add some white though, but I'm going to add a little white lace accent right across the front of the dress. So it almost looks like she's wearing layers, and I'm not going to add the collar. The last decorative piece I'm going to add to Snow White's outfit is a little ribbon or belt that she's going to wear at the top of her yellow skirt. Let's add the red ribbon to the top of Snow White's skirt. This red ribbon will be a great accent to her outfit. The final thing that I'm going to add to this Play-Doh outfit is a little hair bow. I'm going to just fold up two sides and then cross it over so it almost looks like a pretzel. And then just press the hair bow into her hair. Swish it down a little bit. See, that's super cute. Here is the completed Snow White Play-Doh dress. Honestly, this is super fun to make and pretty easy. My favorite features of this dress are the puffy sleeves and, of course, the cute hair bow. And the good thing about Play-Doh is when you're done, you can just peel the Play-Doh off and start over and make another dress. Click here to watch my other Barbie Princess Play-Doh dress video where I make a dress for Cinderella. And if you've seen both of the videos, let me know in the comment section which dress you like more. Thanks for watching and have a great day.